What is going on everybody? My name is Jay and welcome back to another auto chess video. Let's get into it. So, as we already know, the new update is already here. Um, the meta has shifted to an early game meta. So we all know goblins are really good. Gods are pretty good with their, if you get two gods especially. Um, and Beast Warrior, sadly, unfortunately, Beast Warrior is going to creep into the meta. Um, I really think, like, I don't think a Beast Warrior can win you the game, especially if the lobby has Goblin, goblin Mechs or Mage Players or um, if even the Assassins are pretty good right now. So... I don't think the Beast Warrior will win you a game, even if you hit pretty much everything that you want. But it will help eliminate players a lot faster and it can help you climb easily in ranks. So you can say you can pretty much guarantee yourself a top four or top three. And in most of the most of the times that will give you positive points. So it's an easier way for you to climb. So Anyway, with that being said, you already know from the title that this game is going to be a Beast Warrior meta. I mean, uh, this game is going to be a Beast Warrior game. Um, but heading into round three, we don't have any warriors. We do have a couple of goblins though. So uh, right now, I don't have any thinking right now. Like this is the part, this is the strongest team that I could possibly play. So that's what we've done. We played a Ripper. I did not take a pair of Tusk Champion over a uh, Ripper because I think a two-star Tusk Champion is good but I'd rather have like a Gone Max Synergy or Goblin Max Synergy than a um, Warrior Synergy you know but you should always be looking to go pick up pairs early game doesn't matter what synergy but I think this was the best that I could have played and uh, we do get a two-star God of War, which is good. And uh, this guy is playing gods. Yeah, just gods with the Heaven Bomber. And uh, we should be winning this one. Maybe he kills one. Okay, not even one. All right, so. And uh, we will just pick up the Whispers here if we want to combine the Unicorns. And we get a Poisonous Worm and a Red Axe Chief. Um, I might play the wormy boy if i have any mana items on my bag i'm just checking if i want to pick up that wormy boy and i think i will because or i might level up and put in warriors okay that's also a good option because our team is pretty good right we have a two-star god of war and putting in warrior synergy is just gonna help him a lot so I what I might end up doing if I win this round is I might sell the uh, whispers here and buy the wormy boy because we win and we get three gold and we're gonna buy him. All right, yeah, that was the that was the right call. All right, um, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a nice day and. Uh, Happy Halloween. I know today it's going to be like whenever I upload it, it's going to be Halloween. So happy Halloween. What's your favorite costume, by the way? I mean, if you are into that, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, we uh, find a two star Red Axe Chief. That's pretty good. Um, looking at the lobby, we already have two players going God Mage and we are up against one. And uh, his team is not that great. I mean, he has a two-star Winter Kyrotran, but that's not going to make that big of a difference. And so we should be able to keep up our win streak. And we are up against, like, the number one guy is against us. And do we win against him? And... Nope, he has a two-star. Yeah, he's, he's really strong. He has a two-star Skybreaker and a two-star two Swordbreaker. Yeah, that's gonna carry him for a while. So we get a Swordsman here. Um, 
but if I put in the swordsman, that will help my, help out my red axe chief. But I would lose the goblin bonus. No, I would I would lose the uh, guard bonus. So, I mean, swordsman is a beast. Level two. If it, if it was level two, I would do that in an instant. But I think having the guards and having the uh, like because of the fact that we have a two-star soul breaker, I think playing this is the right call here. Or maybe I would take out the like the test champion is not really doing much right now, so I'm not sure. Um, I think both of like what if we do both of them, like if we take out the test champion for a swordsman and go the cape clan warrior route, might also be good. But and uh, having whatever it is that we have right now is also pretty good. So it's a uh, it's a judgment call, I would say. But anyway, we get uh, we get a lot of stuff in this lobby, <laughs> in this um, in this role. We get a thunder spirit, and we get wind ranger, and we get the the grand herald guy. So it does gonna put me below 10 gold here like usually by round eight you want to be by you want to you want to get to 10 gold right so but right now i haven't fully committed to going beast warrior so like um because we could transition to guards also um it's not that late you know it's only round eight so we could potentially transition into guards but i do end up selling the swordsman and uh the wind ranger i think or whatever the whatever it is that i sold um but i'm gonna keep the thunder spirit like i could sell the thunder spirit and the wormy boy to get to 20 gold if i win but we are gonna level up this round and put in two guards um it's gonna help out our skybreaker a little bit more um so anyway we would really like to win this round but this might be a hard one uh, he has hunter bonus and he has yeah he has three warriors and three hunters and we are gonna lose our win streak it looks like that really sucks uh yeah i hate losing before a creep round like it's just unfortunate but the other guy is going to keep his win streak. That also hurts. But anyway, we are getting a lot of pieces that are required to go guard mage. So I'm just going to buy them on the side. If we, if, I, if we don't get any warrior pieces. So we're going to keep our options open for now. Um, so going to rock golem, we are looking pretty healthy. Uh, we could go two ways. We could go Beast Warrior, like I said. Or we can transition into God Mage. That's also good. So it's going to depend on what pieces we hit first. Um, but there are two people already going God Mages, like we saw earlier. So we might not... So now my thinking is we. I might not go... God, man, we get a two-star Thunder Spirit, but that's why I'm checking the lobby. And now there's three players going mages, either God Mage or regular Mage, Human Mages, or so there are three players trying to go mages. So I'm thinking this is a bait. So now, like, I have to make a decision. So I end up selling everything that is required for God Mage. So now I've committed that no one is going Beast Warrior. So let's might as well just go Beast Warrior because it's gonna help out a lot against the mage guys early and mid game. Because the if I put a man item on the Wormy Boy, like to, as toxic as it is, it's gonna eliminate them a lot faster. So they will be forced to roll a lot earlier than they would like to. So we can punish them by going that route. But I will. I still end up buying the Thunder Spirits just in case and we find more 
pieces that we would like to go for god mage like we find a shining dragon and we find a siren as well so i'm like it is i really really think that this is a bait um so i decide to prop and i decide to sell here i think because we if we sell all of them we'll if we sell all of our um thunder spirits we will get to 30 gold as well so like now we have to, we have to like kind of make a decision because it is hurting our economy just keeping it on the bench as well so do i end up selling them i think i'm thinking i'm thinking and okay we buy the siren but we keep the uh, thunder spirits for now because because of the fact that there are mage players we will want um marine synergy later on but we do finally get our wormy boy so we're gonna sell every uh, all the thunder spirits and the the god guy oh we might take out the ripper instead no okay we're gonna put out the wormy boy and do we have any mana items for our nope that kind of sucks though um because if we if we could find one mana item that will help out a lot and like these guys uh, the god mage guys they're gonna they will take a lot of damage so anyway now we are pretty much like we are going beast for you right like we sold our like we got the pieces that we needed for god mage the last two rounds but i felt like that was a bait because there was there was three three players i think they were trying to go god mage so it's like all of us will be like taking pieces out of each other so it's like it's basically a gamble if you're going god mage from now on but no one was going beast warrior so i decided to just stick with the beast warrior route and uh, because we we have like we don't have the best pieces for it yet like we don't have um pirate captain we don't have doom arbiter but going beast warrior was the right call because say that we ended up buying the the god the thunder spirit and then the shining dragon and all those stuff uh what if we don't hit anything the round after you know so that's why it's called a bait right because you basically have to make a decision at that point you either commit to a certain certain calm that you want to go at that time um because keeping them on the bench is gonna hurt your economy and you would like to be 50 gold by round 15 at the max unless you're win streaking then that's totally fine but if you're not win streaking if you're like middling like i am in this in this game you need to commit to a certain calm before round 15 so that you can get to 50 gold by then um so that's why i decided to go the beast warrior route because no one else was going um even though it's gonna be bad against the mage guys whenever it gets to late game um because of the fact that there are three or uh, like more than three people are going the god mage route they're gonna hurt themselves by go doing that right so and we can always put in a marine which will help and we can also put in storm shaman if we need to so there are ways to play against them but that's one that that's the thing you need to like if you're middling you need to come into a certain comp before round 15 and like i said 50 gold by round 15 as well um so going to wolf pack we would really like to have a mana item here like i would put that on my wormy boy within a heartbeat and so far we haven't gotten any kind of sucks anyway let's see if we get anything and our and we finally get a wormy boy i mean the man item and we're gonna put that on our wormy boy so anyway um and, uh, we get a werewolf that's really good and i might sell the skybreaker maybe to put in the werewolf because i think he's better than uh, or maybe i take out the uh 
abyssal crawler for werewolf but i don't think we will lose either race and uh, yeah we're just gonna keep it this way for now and uh, okay there taboo which is on uh, our god of war that that's good and uh, the skybreakers on our wormy boy and the worms are literally not letting the so the soul breaker use his ult and we win so that's good and we will put in one like five gold into our xp and so that we can naturally level up next round and we are on a win streak here so now i might roll a little bit here to see if i can find anything good to put in like a pirate captain that would be really nice this early into the game and so yeah we do roll and uh, we are not hitting anything we do get a swordsman so we will put that just to help our uh... okay so we put in the swordsman just to help out just to have some more tankiness and we take out the skybreaker because it's that time where the skybreaker is not really gonna do much because we don't even have goblin synergy so it's just, he's just there as a place filler pretty much so we are up against the hunter guy this is the guy who's in first place and he is still beating us so that kind of sucks but do we win on our board we do oh no never mind we don't um so it's kind it kind of it's unfortunate that we lose to the same guy who kills our win streak twice in a row but yeah he has he has a razor claw he has aggressors with the soul reaper and i think he has a he had a frantic mask on his aggressors ranger and i think i believe it was a two sword wind ranger maybe i'm not sure but yeah his team is is looking a lot stronger yeah he does have a two star wind ranger so anyway we are up against um, god mage but yeah we're gonna lose to these guys as well so i'm like at this point we need to find our core pieces right so we need the like we need some sort of cc or damage or something we either need pirate captain or berserker or something right like right now all we have is like just tankiness and we don't even have that much tankiness because we have a one star werewolf and then one star swordsman and like the only thing that can do any sort of damage is the wormy boy um so we need to hit our pieces like we need but we gonna like um i would prefer to lose this round as well so that we will keep our loose streak and then we will automatically level up round 21 and then we can roll for our stuff all right so we are up against the goblin mech guy but i think we can okay we are gonna lose to him yikes our team is actually a lot weaker um anyway so i'm kind of glad that we didn't lose that round but i wish we could have lost by a bit less uh but hey beggars can't be choosers right and uh, oh we actually are defeating one guy which is kind of surprising what is he playing oh he's playing dragon mage and his team is <sighs> yeah his team is a lot weaker he has a three star winter character but he doesn't even have god buff so it's just it's just there as a tank and everything else is one star yes one star dragon knight one star storm shaman so no wonder we defeated him there but anyway going to round 20 we shouldn't have any problems here um, we would like to have some decent items but we're gonna level up next round and then we're gonna roll for our stuff like we would at least like to have a two-star werewolf going to next round and we get a dragon blood axe that's really good um all right so we're gonna roll here we get the razor claw that's really good i was her crawler okay we'll take that swordsman swordsman 2 we'll take that as well we're gonna roll a bit more here maybe mm, okay so i'm not gonna roll anymore 
So I'm, I'm like thinking if I should, do I put in Marine or do I put in four beasts? And we end up putting the Razor Claw. And I think that was the right call because we don't have any mad items for our Siren and she's one star. So, anyway, um, we are up against the guy who has consistently defeated us every time. But do we defeat him now? Uh, it's looking close. And I think the Wormy boy is going to carry. Yeah. And he's level 7 as well. So we do end up winning. And therefore goes our loose trick. But that's good. Like as a beast warrior you shouldn't be trying to lose in the first place. So anyway. Um, do we roll for more? I do. We find a Doom Arbiter. That's really good. Um, I'm thinking what should I sell? I'm, we're gonna sell our Red Axe Chief for our Doom Arbiter. Even though he's one star, I'll take the Doom Arbiter any day. And we get the Werewolf. That's really good. Alright, so now we are really strong, right? So we're up against the Night Sky. Uh, but I don't think we would have any problems here. Because the warriors do pretty well against knights unless they hit their three stars. So knight, yeah, now we're gonna start winning against pretty much everyone. Um, except the gun mage guys because they do get their power spike around this time. So like so but if we could have put Marine in, if we put Marine in, uh, going to the next round we'll put Marine in. That will help out a lot. Um, we might even take out the four beast and put in like a storm shaman or we could go level or we could go full marine if we have to so that that's the thing going warriors is that it's not just beast warriors like there's flexibility when it comes to warriors so you could go Beast Warriors, the typical Beast Warriors, which is 4 Beast, 6 Warriors. Or you could go 6 Warriors and anything that you can put in. So like a Marine, so like a Siren, for example. Um, you can put in Storm Shaman or you can put in any Legendaries, for example, if you're just going 6 Warriors. So you got to be flexible according to your lobby. Um, if there are a lot of mage players, you have to go marine, right? So in the in our lobby, there are mage players, so we will need marine in. So that's why we have the siren. And even though she's two star, I think having four beasts for now is good because we don't have mana items to put on her. Um, so if we go, if we find a mana item next round, um, we will be looking to go round nine, uh, the level nine, sorry, and then put in the siren. But also, we still need our pirate captain, we still need our berserker, so going to level 9 is the right play here, because we will need to put in the side end regardless, and we will need to find our pieces as well. So, pirate captain and all of them are forecast, and we have a higher probability of finding them as level 9, instead of hoping to hide all them at level 8. So anyway, that's our plan for right now. Um, the Hunter's guy, he is a lot weaker now. Um, like early game, this helped him a lot, right? But he hasn't really rolled anything since then. Uh, even though his HP is a lot better, he hasn't found his pieces just yet. Uh, like he doesn't even have a two-star Dwarf Sniper, so he's also in a precarious situation. Like he will, uh, I'm thinking he, he will probably roll a lot next round as well. Because yeah, his team is going to fall, start falling off very soon. Um, so yeah, we do end up leveling up here. And we're going to roll for our stuff here. Let's see if we can find anything. We get a Doom Arbiter and I, I might just egg him, I think. Yeah, we do end up egging him. And we would like to have, we get another egg as well and we find the pirate captain that's really good so now i'm thinking what to sell here um 
like it's it's all it's already too late so i'm just gonna sell the test champion like the test champion that is on our bench by the pirate captain and decide later on so here we we really like to have a druid so that we have a two star uh, razor claw and so yeah like like i said the hunter guy just lot lost by a lot he took a fat hit there um so anyway so now we have the marine end which is going to help out a ton against the god mage guys and uh, if we can find a two star pirate captain that would put us at a huge advantage and we do get a berserker um so here i could sell one of two things so i could sell the uh swordsman and buy the berserker for now um and we are so far away from getting a three star test champion so now i'm like thinking maybe we should like sell the maybe we should stop going the four beast route and then go like the typical six warriors but whatever unit that you can put in um we already have the two star sir and we're not gonna take her out so like like see the marine synergy without the marine synergy we would have lost here um i think we might still lose here because yeah our team like we we need that pirate captain we need that cc right like we need some sort of we need, and we don't have the damage like our we have a two star tusk champion and a two star razor claw around this time so our team is a lot weaker right so that's what like here i need to i'm like thinking i i think um selling the beast and we we don't even have a uh, three star god of war so i'm like thinking i'm closer to getting a three star god of war than a three uh, a test champion so that's why i'm like trying to make a decision do i sell the god of war or do i sell the test champion and stick with the four beast route um that's another thing like um when it comes to the six warriors if you could find a three star god of war you you can always keep that in because he's just a meat tank um he's just going to soak a lot of damage and he can potentially distract units and just tank for them a lot so while the rest of your units can clean up so if you could find a three star god of war i'm always keeping him um so that's why i think i do i will end up selling the uh, and we get it uh, so yeah now i'm like because we do, we also need the man item from the wormy boy because we, we don't have any man we didn't get any other man items so selling both of them here i think i'm going to sell here uh and yeah we do sell the test champion and uh, it's too late for now okay i now mind i do sell the one we buy and we going to put the man items on our siren um because like let's say we um get like a refresher maybe we like high roll um <laughs> the rest three items that we need for for refresher i'm going to put that on my siren and so we going to sell we going to have to sell the one we buy anyway so that's why we sell the two beast the two uh, test champion and the wormy boy even though they helped us a lot in the mid game when it gets to late game you need to have a three star test champion and the wormy boy becomes like a placeholder but considering the lobby considering that there's only hunter guy and i think the other guy is the mage guy having marine is really good um so now we could potentially think about going for marines um to help out against mage guy uh we shouldn't have any problems against the hunter guy because um like unless he high rolled a ton of draw sniper and unless he gets like a three star draw sniper and uh, gets a decent front line we should not have any problems so our only concern now is the mage guy and i think the other guys okay now man i think the the other guy was uh goblin mac if i'm not wrong i would have to check the lobby so 
we will need some sort of damage that's why i'm keeping the berserker just in case <laughs> but we can need a lot of uh, swordsman um so if we could three star him that's also really good but anyway let's see and we have to distribute our items as well that's uh, it's pretty bad for me but anyway uh, and yeah i don't think we would have any problems against this guy so yeah the other guy was goblin mech okay never mind uh um so yeah like i said earlier if you're going the beast warrior route the best you're hoping for is a top 3 or a top 4 when we already got our top 3 right um the goblins do really good against a uh, warrior um maybe if you go nine warriors it might help a little bit against them but generally if they find their pieces and considering that there are it, there's an easier route to get six goblin bonus right now with the wizards um they just become so tanking at that point that you don't have the damage or the tankiness to deal with them so the best we are hoping for here is the second place like maybe if we find like a dark spirit and then we go level 10 and put that in but even then like we need a solid front line and we don't even have a three star razor claw or um like we don't have that many three stars other than the god of war so yeah like the hunter guy is already out so um here like i don't think whatever like whatever that we can do the best that we can hope for is like find a dark spirit like maybe a two star dark spirit to help and three star razor claw would help it, help out a ton as well so, and we just need one more razor claw let's see if we can hit him and we don't that sucks and he also found his devastator now so that also is going to hurt us but anyway um so yeah the best that we can so far is finding the razor claw and three star swordsman but other than that um i don't see us winning here yeah he is clapping as in his board and he okay now man i thought for a sec he went to uh, 6 max that would be just uh, rubbing salt in our wounds and i still have distributed in my hands finally okay uh, but i don't think these items are going to make okay the ice armor would help and the heaven skiver also would help a lot and uh, yeah we didn't get our pressure that we wanted um anyway and we okay we find the egg ah <laughs> um uh, now okay i was too late but yeah i don't think okay i think we're just going to lose here yep <laughs> yeah um so yeah um if you're going beast warrior it's an easy way it's a solid way to climb up ranks if you are struggling in like bishop even in rook um you can play the beast warrior to climb up ranks easily but that's the best you can hope for you can pretty much guarantee yourself a top 3 unless you're ro low rolling or you have a lobby where a lot of people are going beast warrior um but if you end up in like how i have where i'm the only one who's going the warrior route most of the times if you manage your economy properly if you manage your hp properly if you know when to roll the um, you can pretty much guarantee yourself a top 3 so yeah um they do pretty well against mages like you saw we can put in marines we can go for marines if we need to if we really really need to um we can also put in um, storm shaman that will help as well um what this will do is it will punish the those players the the players who are trying to go mages and goblin max they it will punish them mid game so they will be forced to roll a bit earlier um but when it gets to late game unless you find your pieces 
and unless you have like a, a ton of three stars the best you can hope for is a top three and we got the second now we will take that any day um and they f do fairly well against knights until they find their three stars and considering the knights got the nerf now um it's kind of risky to go knights in my opinion um what else is there like they are they struggle against feathered which is typical like they rely on auto attacks right and uh, feathered are good against auto attacks um unless you find the monkey king bar on your berserker and unless you find like a monkey king bar on a lot of units they're gonna struggle against them but they do fairly well um um considering the lobby and considering in our lobby um we did pretty well like can, can, there were like what three four player going mages and all of them died they didn't even get the top three right because of the fact that so many people went that way um but anyway i um, hope you're all doing good thank you for watching and uh, if you like this make sure you hit the subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss my future in-depth analysis but uh, until i see you all in the next video peace out my dudes